Let's start with the basics. Technically, anything that's used to control pests like insects, invasive plants, and fungi is considered a pesticide. The difference between pesticides used in conventional farming and pesticides that can be used in organic farming is where they come from or what they're made of. Most of the common pesticides used in conventional farming are made from synthetic chemicals that can persist in soil or wash off the fields into waterways. Some of these synthetic pesticides have been linked to some serious health risks in humans. Glyphosate, a pesticide commonly used with genetically modified crops, can cause cancer, and the neurotoxic pesticide chlorpyrifos can severely harm children's developing brains and nervous systems. Organic farmers rely on pest management techniques that aren't toxic to human health or the environment. They're allowed to use naturally occurring compounds to kill or deter pests, but they also use things like fabric covers, sticky traps, and hot pepper mixes to prevent damage from pests. Organic farmers even introduce beneficial insects like ladybugs and beetles to prey on insects that are harming the plants. It's always important to get enough fruits and vegetables in your diet, whether they're grown conventionally or organically, but it definitely can't hurt to limit your consumption of pesticides when you can. Studies have found that eating an organic diet can lower the pesticide levels in your body by up to 90% compared to eating conventional produce. Of course, it can be hard to find and afford only organic foods, so we recommend prioritizing buying organic versions of the produce on our Dirty Dozen list of conventional fruits and vegetables with the most pesticide residues. Visit ewg.org slash food news to find the Dirty Dozen list and more information about pesticides on your produce.